Everybody is playing his role to combat climate change. The consequence of the Paris Agreement means that every sector is playing its role to reduce carbon emissions. Well, nearly every sector. Aviation is one of the top 10 global polluters. Plane emissions are expected to increase three times by 2050. But how's that? All sectors engage internationally to reduce its carbon emissions. For example, for every full tank of petrol in your car, you'll pay more than 50% in taxes in the European Union. Well, while airplanes fuel taxes are exempt, the housing sector has improved its energy efficiency by more than 24% in two decades. But airlines don't have yet legally binding requirements for fuel efficiency. Of look at the steel of that bike. Steel factories, as part of an emission trading system, have a reduction obligation of 43%. While at global level, there is not a single limit to aviation emissions at all. Aviation emissions were not included in the Paris Agreement last year because it was expected that the UN body in charge of aviation, ICAO, will deal with them in its assembly this September. EU ministers attending the ICAO's assembly, the time for action on aviation is now. We are watching. Et si je fais un truc genre comme ça, c'est trop. <laughs>